All right, uh, we're going to talk about excavating eggs and getting them ready for incubation. So uh, what I use to incubate my eggs in is just one of these little deli cups. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to do this, and people have different techniques. And All I'm going to say is that this is the way I've been doing it for, I guess, six years now um, with all rachidactylids, and it works for me. And I've never had a problem with, uh, you know, eggs going bad or anything. Um, so all I'm going to do is uh, take me a kitchen knife and I'm just going to make a small hole in the top. I'm just going to put the knife, kind of twist it. Not going to really put a lot of pressure on it, but just kind of twist until it kind of goes through and makes a small hole. Um, you can see that's not a very large hole there. And uh, I just do that to get some ventilation, uh, a little bit of air exchange. Now, what I use as a uh, incubation medium is uh, vermiculite. And there's a lot of schools of thought on that, too. Some people are like they use perlite, some people use peat moss, some people use mixtures of vermiculite. Some people get all scientific about it. Uh, I'm sure there's a scientific process to this. I'm a science teacher, all about the scientific method, uh, but I don't do all the measuring out so many grams of this, so many grams of that. I use the, uh, you know, feels right kind of method. So, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill... I'm going to fill up the... Uh, I'm not going to fill the deli cup up. I'm going to put... I guess about a third of the way, maybe a little more than a third. Um, that looks good. You want to? I, I have about an inch of substrate in there, so you can see it's about yay much is about what I do. Um, so that's you know that's probably an inch, a little more than an inch, maybe just around an inch. Now, here's where people get fussy because they want to know exactly how wet does it have to be. You know, to be honest, it's not, it doesn't have to be that exact. I've never measured anything and I've never lost any eggs. And I've probably in the last five or six years hatched out, you know, over a hundred rachidactylid um, eggs between Leachianus and gargoyle and, and uh, tons of cresteds. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of turn the water on low and just going to add water until I'm sure that I've gotten it all moist. Um, what I kind of do is just get it to the point where there's some extra water in it and then I drain it. So that looks about right. Now, now notice when I turn it over, there's going to be water that runs out, so I'll just kind of take the lid oops, and let the excess water run out. You know, and you might have some substrate run out with it, but that's not a big deal. So you just want to get all the extra water out. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of pack it down. Um, I might kind of put my hand in a little bit and just kind of turn it upside down again. Get any of that excess water out. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, again, some people get real exact with their measurements and everything. I don't. Never had a problem. Um, so, uh, so now what I've got is I have my incubation medium in my cup, and I'm going to get the eggs out. So, let's go do that now. Walk through the house. 
check on my little girl, make sure she's starting to crawl now, make sure she hasn't destroyed anything. Looks like she's going for some sandals. Um, now as far as getting the eggs out, uh, this is a real simple process. All we're going to do is I'm going to make two indentions in the uh, substrate. Just use my thumb because I got two eggs. So I'm just going to kind of make two kind of deep indentions with my thumb. Push that substrate way down. You don't bury the eggs in your substrate, but you want them to be down in the substrate so they get plenty of moisture. Um, Alright, and now all I'm going to do is, I don't know how long these eggs have been in here, and reptile eggs are not like bird eggs, you can't rotate them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reach in and I'm just going to, the position that they're in, I'm just going to pull them out. 